M. Fletcher Brown with another artist video blog at kicks96country.com. For the very first time, actually, we're coming to you from the Kicks 96 <laughs> control room. We're actually in the control room right now with a first time visitor to Kicks 96. Please welcome. Frankie Justin, how are you, Frankie? Oh, doing great. How about you? Well, welcome to Kicks Country. Hey, thank you very much. All right, now you've got a single out, uh, "Broken Heartbreak." That's the song, All yes, right. sir. I have spent probably the last hour before your arrival trying to. I mean, I've I've heard the song, and I'm thinking, but but if I hadn't heard the song, "Broken Heartbreak." What would that mean to me? It's a very, very clever title. Did you write that? I actually did not. I had some great writers. Chris Dubois, oh, okay. uh, Brent Anderson, Forrest Whitehead wrote that track. And uh, when I heard it, I was like, oh. and then I started playing it, testing it at the shows. Everybody was just like, that's a song. Really? What made, and, you, what made you pick that one? Uh, you know, honestly, uh, they pitched me eight songs, and that was, to me, my favorite song. I felt it resonated with a lot of people. Mm -hmm. uh, just, it tells such a great story. It really does. It, it's... It's like such a, it's like a modern storytelling song almost. Mm -hmm. It's kind of what I call it. It's my, almost like it's a country song. I mean, yeah. <laughs> I, it, it just feels like a country song. Exactly. Right. exactly. Well, now, now you've been you've been playing country music for gosh, what, almost twenty years now. You you seriously, you've been almost uh, about nine years. I'm twenty years old now, uh -huh. and uh, you know, a fit like hitting it nine years. Mm -hmm. My whole life, obviously, like you said. Yeah. Um, but nine years heavily. Nine years of actually playing guitar, writing songs, doing singing shows. Songs. But your whole life is kind of a country story. Let's talk to you a little bit about where you come from. <laughs> okay, so I'm originally from Connecticut. Mm -hmm. uh, grew now you don't originally you don't usually associate Connecticut with no. like cowboys. No. But I'm telling you right now, man. There's country out there. There's country all over the Northeast. There's country all up in the Midwest. Don't think that just because you know you're not from the Southwest or the South that you can't be country. I'm telling you, man. There's country up there. I thank you for saying you that. Got that. It, that is, you, got it. you know, I grew up on a small farm, um, but what I also grew up traveling in Alabama a lot. Came mm -hmm. through Muscle Shoals as a kid many times. Mm -hmm. uh, Memphis, uh, Nashville, all through basically to Texas and back mm -hmm. with my dad a lot because he has a horse business. Yeah. And uh, so getting I, country by the second, man. I'm telling you, <laughs> listen to the, listen to him. It's it's just not making it up now. Mm -hmm. And uh, I grew up. With him, and that's country was the music of the household. Really? Okay, like what? Like what? Like what? Like now you say you're fairly young. So yeah. What was country that was you were listening to? I mean, was it like now? See, my dad would always listen to like Aldean and all uh -huh. them guys, but even I would go a little bit further back, okay. listen to '90s country, like Opry kind of stuff, uh -huh. Opry kind of stuff. And then as uh, time went on, I fell in love with uh, Easton Corby, you know, some Luke Bryan records, yeah. and I was just like, this stuff is amazing. Mm -hmm. And so your now your particular musical style. Kind of, uh, at least in my experience, I've listened to like three or four of your songs, including, Thank you. including the single, and it really seems to just sort of fall somewhere between like Tracy Lawrence and um, oh gosh, who was that? Like Tracy Lawrence and Jason Aldean, somewhere in there. I love that's, that. That's now that was my that was my first impression when I when I listened to like three or four of your songs. Anyway. That is so cool because two of those guys, I love yeah. all their songs. Man. I mean, like stylistically, uh, like vocally, you yeah. kind of you kind of fall closer to like that Tracy Lawrence. Oh but yeah. As far as like you know, cadence and song structure yeah. felt a little bit more like Aldean. So you being raised uh, through the night that good '90s country period and yeah. into the more modern country. You seem to have taken the best of those worlds and made your own style out of them. Well, man, I'm so glad you see that because that's what I try to do. Mm -hmm. You know, is uh, have a song that's fresh and is something that's uh, really going against the grain. Yet, when you hear it, it's a country song. Yeah, absolutely. All right, so um, now "Broken Heartbreak" that is the the single, uh, but you've you've had a couple albums out. Uh, you know, before this, you actually won awards the, the National <laughs> Country Music Association International, like yes. for songwriting, for vocal, for entertainer of the year. Like, when did that out? When did all that happen? I was like, when I started doing all that, I was probably twelve to fifteen. Like, wow, in that range. I was <laughs> so you were just like, you weren't even out of school yet. No, I wasn't out of school. I was uh, doing it. Like I said, eleven is when I really I was like, this is what I want to do. I love country music. I bet the other kids hated you at show and tell. <sighs> They, well, see, I was homeschooled. Oh, so, well, there you go. Yeah, I uh, belong to a great homeschool association because uh, only reason being we have great schools in our town, but the mm -hmm. only reason was is it was either go on the road and have a life and yeah. know my dad yeah. or don't. Yeah, so, absolutely. I my mom that. was a teacher, so that helped out a lot. All right. So, well, now you're you've come from Connecticut. You're in Nashville now. You're you're actually uh, writing and singing and and, and recording. Uh, you're touring with uh, some pretty sizable names. You even mentioned Easton Corbin. I think you've opened for yes, him. Yes, man. Um, so, uh, do you think you're ready for 
like, you know, everything that Nashville's got to throw at you? You know, it's crazy that you say that because, uh -huh. you know, this week has been really funny. It's mm -hmm. my first time, like, in town really for a good period of time where I have a charted record. Okay. It's on the radio. And it's funny how it's different and you're so much busier, mm -hmm. you know, and uh, artists. I hung out with Dirks Bentley and Garth Brooks the other night, and it was, like, s surreal moments, like, pinch yourself. True story. I have never hung out with Dirks Bentley and Garth Brooks. Never. You need to. Never. You need to. 20 years in the... In, <laughs> I've never hung out with those guys. Anyway, please continue. I'm sorry. I'm no, it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> Again, other kids hated you at Show and Tell. <laughs> so anyhow, it's, you know, it's really cool to see how everything's growing. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I took this year and I said, I'm going to have realistic goals. And I accomplished most of them. Mm -hmm. uh, thank God. And, uh, yeah, I, I'd say I'm, re I'm ready for it. All I'm right. excited. Well, we're excited for you. We're excited to have you. Um, if folks out there uh, have never heard uh, uh, Frankie Justin, where, where can they go and find you on the Internet? Well, you guys can go to Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, just Frankie Justin, and uh, Spotify and iTunes, of course. And it's just two first names and uh, Frankie Justin. All right, so look for him on your favorite social media platform. Uh, you find him on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. He's on all the things. Maybe you'll see some pictures of him and Dirk Bentley and Garth Brooks. You won't ever see any pictures of me and Dirk Bentley and Garth Brooks. I've never hung out with them. That, and that, you know, and I'm just saying, Dirk's Garth. If you ever wanted to hang out, I'm usually free. <laughs> Uh, I mean, we can chill. It's cool. <laughs> but uh, Frankie Justin is our guest today, and the single is uh, Broken Heartbreak, and it's it sounds as cool as you think it does. So make sure you call us at Kicks96. We'll be happy to play it for you. Frankie, thanks for visiting. Hey, man. thank you. All right, look for a live performance from Frankie right here in the Kicks96 control room, all right? I'll even pan around so you can actually see what the control room looks like if you've never seen it in here. And uh, we'll catch you next time on another artist video blog, kicks96country.com.